How you doing guys? Stephen here from James Glen Castles and you will not believe what we've got in stock. We have a Renault Clio. I cannot remember the last time I had one of these, but it's got to be 10 years at least anyway. This one, Clio 182, it's not a cup, but it is in absolutely fantastic condition and in rude health, thanks to the last owner of eight years, giving the car everything that it needed, which included a full gearbox rebuild and the belts done in the last 10,000 miles. We've got a folder full of receipts, as well as a stamped up service history, and it's even got the accident pack with the disposable camera, um, which if you go to the website, you can see the pictures of, I'll put a link to that in the description below. So um, let's get a wee nosy around. So first of all, take a wee wander around the car just to let you take in the, the general condition, and then we'll get in a little bit closer, highlight any defects. It's bought directly via our we won't buy any cars.com car buying service which I will put a link in the description below. If you have something that you think might fit our stock profile, we would be delighted to hear from you. Um, if it's not for us, we will always give you the courtesy of letting you know. But we buy all sorts of things from Porsches to Renault Clios and everything in between. Taking a closer look towards the front of the car. Um, very, very good on the stone chip front. Uh, I have to say the we car is standing up well. Bear in mind it has done 95 or 96,000 miles. Unfortunately though, we do have some soft dents here, which is just uh, a result of the bonnet being pushed down rather than dropped. Bumper has some light stone chipping towards the leading edge there, which again, unfortunately is pretty much unavoidable. I'd rather see this um, than it being all painted, because then you know exactly what, um, what sort of condition the car's been in rather than being masked over with fresh paint. Headlights, they are in great condition, they were machine polished and we've managed to remove all of the, the solar damage. Um, they can end up all opaque and yellow in colour, but they're looking very, very fresh. Looking down the passenger side of the car, very, very straight, a couple of very small soft parking dents which I will try and show you in the camera so there is one just here and if we move down to the passenger door there is one just here as well and um, we'll look down the passenger side from the back to the front see if we can highlight that a bit better for you uh, we car has had all four wheels refurbished full proper tire off job so if you have a look in the back there you can see that the barrels are just as shiny as the faces and it's also on a matching set of Mitchell and Pilot Sport 3 tires down the passenger side from the rear. The edge of the door's been caught there as well, so that's just ever so slightly um, out of shape. We will try and get that repaired actually. I think our dent guy will be able to improve on that. But I have to say, for a car of this age, and especially being a wee Frenchie, the panels are quite thin. I think that would be described as well and truly above average. Looking down the driver's side, there is absolutely no parking dents on that side. And looking down onto the rear wheel. On great shape. But again, as I mentioned earlier, they have been fully refurbished. I'll have a quick look inside now. Just checking on taking all the touch points. So the driver's door car you'd normally have a wee bit of wear here from elbows and on the, the, the armrest, but all in good shape. Bit of wear around about the electric window switches. Uh, this trim here itself um, is beginning to show a wee bit of age related whack marks. Entry plate down the bottom here, nice and clean. Driver seat base, um, bit bobbly for what of a better expression, but um, just as we can see here, there's a couple of bits of material that's just beginning to um, thread bare. Leading edge of the bolster, good shape. Backrest, just the same. And having a real look over at the passenger side. Overall, I think the interior presents really, really well. Renault steering wheels are terrible for peeling. Uh, this has been retrimmed and it's been an outstanding job. You can see the silver cross stitch there with the one the, the, the o'clock, <laughs> the 12 o'clock top band as well. Two sets of keys. Just move the car back, the seat back now. And we'll get it started. Start the car just to demonstrate that it starts, idles, and has no water marks. The K 
Tech induction kit does sound really, really fruity. But as I mentioned, we can refit the standard airbox if so required. Got a set of factory mats there, which are in great shape. But in general, the interior is really, really clean. Have a look at the headrest, the headlining as well. Supply, I should say. Don't want to rev it too hard, it is cold. So we'll pop the bonnet um, and we'll get a wee look in the, the boot area as well. So that's the factory toolkit, owner's, owner's manual. Um, in fact, that is it's kind of tire inflation gel that's your owner's manual there and also the aforementioned um, accident emergency pack oh, sorry accident management pack which includes uh, a little disposable camera from at Renault heavens forbid you ever need to use it uh, and on top of that we also have a full documented um, history of everything that's been done to the car going back for years um, yeah, so that's uh, always good to see. You always end up making a mess of this when you're trying to do it on camera. <laughs> so finally we'll get the bonnet popped and we'll have a wee look around about the engine bay. She's usually for an embarrassment herself, trying to do it with one hand. So that is the KTEC air intake. And always drop it. Don't push it otherwise you'll end up with more dents in the bonnet. So guys, thank you very much for um, making it to the end of the video. Hope you found that useful. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it is completely not our thing, but it really was too good to pass up on. Uh, I drove the car back to the garage myself. It's an absolute hoot to drive. I just sold an RS200, um, and this is much, much more lively. It must be down to the weight, I don't know, but you can see why good examples are now fetching uh, quite a fair premium. Um, so great new car for someone, and um, yeah, if I've got any questions, so if you guys have any questions you'd like to ask, please feel free to get in touch. You can either do that via the comments below. Um, I always reply. Also, you can phone the garage. The number here is 01236779000. Or if you'd like to send us an email, I'll put a link to the website below and you can get in touch that way. Thanks very much again for watching the video, guys. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.